Actually, we're going to use a program called xnormal to actually make our normal map for this particular case here. So we're going to go to xn, xnormal. Also, it's free, good to use. I love it. Especially for meshes and everything else for normal maps. I mean, who doesn't use xnormal? A lot of people, it's industry standard to use xnormal. But not by photograph, though. Usually it's not a good way to do things, but let's see here. Photo to normal. So we're going to grab. Where did I put my folder at? Grass. Do, 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 do. I think it's behind here, quick. Aliens out. Hold it over. Yep, there you are. So I'm going to grab this over here. Photo to normal. Grass. Here we go. I'm going to use this one, go dot top, bottom left, right, generate, and let's see here, uh, it's not going to be a good one, let's try it on smoothing, let's generate, so we have 0.5 smooth and generate, because you don't want it too smooth or else it's just not going to look correct, let's make it 0.3, generate, uh, I think 0.5 is okay. There we go. Okay, we're going to save normal map. We are going to save it not in D do. We're going to save it in grass. Grass is for normal. Yes, please. There we go. That was created. I'm going to exit out of this. Then for the um, spec map, we're going to go back and Photoshop here real quick. This isn't one way to do it as well, but. Let's take a look here. Usually when you make a spec map, you kind of want it gray, but it depends on how shiny the uh, grass really is. Like if you want really white, really white um, map, it makes it more shinier, but the darker it is, like from white is the shiniest, black is like completely no reflectivity at all. So, <coughs> so in, in, general, in general, you know, grass is a little bit reflective, just a tad bit, so we can just make a, a freaking spec map out of this quick. So I'm going to go to a hue saturation, I'm going to saturate that, change the lightness around a little bit. Let's see, this is definitely not a way to do industry standard wise, but it's a simple way to get something going for a spec map, because spec map is kind of important. And I'm going to save as, grass underscore spec. Alright, so since we got our maps, we have our maps already. So let's go back and speed tree here quick. And let's go ahead and select these. And we're going to do hit this plus sign up here, which actually makes a new material. And we're going to import the grass diffuse. And then you got the diffuse here. Let's go ahead and get the height. And let's get the specular. And then all we'll I have to do is grab this little thing here, put it around there. And there you go. You got yourself some grass actually going on here. And as you can tell, it's not so not as good because there's not as much grass, but we can put a little more here in just a minute. So since you had this applied, you get to really select it. You get to see your grass pull out like that too if you wanted. So you can just make a little bit more grass if you wanted to. It takes a little time to make grass. I mean, if you have a lot of it, I mean, it's a grass patch. You're gonna have a shit ton. You when you put in the game, you just could go by patch by patch by patch and just apply it on top of each other. You'll get the good results you want. making a little more grass real quick. And yes, you could do this in the UDK version too. It's, it's really no different. Just be sure when you do that, when you make your little um, little thing here, it goes up like that, but it looks like a cone. Make sure you select it and then go from deselect the branch of the cap and click on frond and leaf style fronds. So that is very important. When you do leaf style fronds, when you have the wind, I'll show you here real quick the reason why. So, I'm going to activate the wind here real quick. When you look at this, the wind looks kind of sketchy here. Because see how it's kind of waving? You don't want that. When you have the leaf style fronds, it actually sways like real like grass, you know, like a leaf. Because essentially, uh, grass is a leaf. So, let's go ahead and turn on the wind here a little bit. Okay, so where were we? Yes, we're still making more trunks here. Maybe a little bit more just for the sake of making a good quality. 
And also what you could do, because if you notice here as well, once you get done touching it up, I'm going to make this a, a pretty decent patch. Say if this is a patch, once you do that, you're satisfied with. So we're going to do, because <clears throat> you have, you got these, you can't select this, you have to deselect it. And then you have this thing called shape, and this thing called sink. What you could do is actually sink the uh, grass so it's below the ground level. Just crease it up, you see it go underneath and then farther underneath. Once you're satisfied where it's at, put it right about maybe here. That should be pretty good. And then you don't have to worry about the seeds sticking out when you have it. And also you can change if your grass width is too small. Like with mine, I made the width a little bit larger. Because when you put it to UDK, it's going to look really, really, really small. It's not going to be up to scale. For some reason, when you export it, it doesn't go up to scale the way you want it. But let's take a look here. So we're going to actually make the radius. Actually, you don't need the radius that big. We want the radius. We want the find it here. Size scale you. You can change the size of it a little bit more, like two. Makes it a little bit more taller. Let's see. If you change it to one, it just looks a little better. Actually, I like two. We'll keep it at two. Actually, no. We'll just keep it at one. We'll keep it at one for now. So, let's go ahead and select our trunk. And we're going to go to where we need to find is, hell, I can even do sink in here. So doing it in the actual generation here. So we're going to go ahead and, but yours is all going to be straight up grassy. But if you have like, if I recommend, I guess then, if you're going to have um, grass, and then have another piece of grass differently, I'd rather for it just actually use, select and use this size scalier and sink in that by selecting it. I know you could do that. All right, so let's go ahead and continue. We're going to change the width of our frond, which is our leaf. Frond is another way of saying kind of like a plane for the portions of your grass. Because it looks a little bit thin, it doesn't get that much detail. So we're going to make it two width. And that looks about pretty good. And you're going to change maybe the, I want the height changes. No, it does not. So 0.5. And then we get contours full width. And everything else, nothing necessary at the moment. So this is basically a basic way to make grass so far. So if you're satisfied with what we want, what we're going to want to do is save it out, of course. I'm going to save as go to desktop. I'm go to grass. I'm going to tutorial. I'm going to save this as grass. I'm going to go to Okay, since we got that taken care of, now what I need to do, you're going to have to go into your, yep, it's not, if you import it into UDK right now, it's not going to import because you have to compile it to for UDK to actually identify it. So let's go ahead and find the compiler here. All right, so here's the compiler. Let's go ahead and get this ready. I'm going to add trees. I'm going to go to desktop, go to grass, tutorial, boom. And then next, you don't have to worry about creating a texture atlas. Let's see here. Let's see, found new path. Let's see here. Something's not working here. Let's try the new one here. Add trees. Well, I think the problem is. Oh, I know what's going on here. You have to. Um, okay, let's exit here. It's not going to work that way. What we're going to have to do is actually um, open it in the Spree Tree Mala UDK and then save it again. For some reason the formatting it's really weird. So we're going to have to go to open, I'm going to go to desktop, grass, oops, back, tutorial, grass, boom, and then resave it back up. And that should work just fine. Let's see here, where's my window? So I'll make sure the window still works. Alright, yes, everything's still the way it's supposed to be. The window's not that strong, but that's not the point. It'll, you can always adjust the wind inside UDK, so I'm going to save as. Grass underscore two. So yes, replace. Then we can exit all this, and then we can finally open the compiler since it's saved out in the way we want it. So I'm going to open this next. I don't want to worry about creating a texture atlas because we already have our textures already made. They're custom textures. So hit finish, and everything looks okay. Make sure you include winds in there. Then go ahead and start compilation. Oops, start compilation. And everything, our diffuse spec normal is all included. Then hit compile. And then it should be compilation complete. Let's check out the output for it. Alright, let's take a look here. Oops. Let's see here. Yep, grass on start tutorials right there. There's our atlas. Alright, awesome. That definitely worked pretty decently. 
But, however, I don't want them in this UDK game. This is my Oculus Rift one. I don't want to put it in there, so let's go ahead and grab it back out here. Grass. Uh, grass and diffuse, normal. Spec. Normal and spec. I'm going to control X that. I'm going to go back to the right build here, quick. 2012. UK game, content, objects, grass, gooey folder, grass, toot. What is this? Oh, it's a frame. There we go. And then we got that taken care of. Once that's done, we need to start UDK again and pour it in. Right, so, ink, ink. And UDK editor. I have to use a different version. I can't use the Oculus one because for some reason the, uh, Licensing to import speech tree directly it doesn't work with the Oculus version, so I have to use a different build. It's really strange though, but hey, what can you do? Let's see here. Let's go wait for it to load up here real quick. Alright, so you don't have to worry about any sort of map yet. We're just going to actually import it in. Let's see here. Fully load. I made my own package just for the sake of the tutorial. So we're going to import objects grass, grass tutorial. And grab all this. Open. And we're going to make another uh, subgroup called grass underscore tutorial. And then let's see here we have the grass diffuse. Okay. Normal spec. And then make sure that's all correct. Yes, it is. Alright, so now. No oh, map looks funky. Oh, it's there. Maybe it's just exported. Alright, so now we have the speed tree. You're going to have a little bit of problem with UDK because once you import it first time, it's not going to show. So, what you need to do is actually save your package, save it, and then once that's done, exit out and then restart it. And then you'll see your foliage. For some reason it fucking does it. I don't know why. It's really strange. Okay, so. Close on that. Go ahead and fully load. And let's go to the grass and the tutorial. And then we open it, and then our plans are right there. Of course, there's not going to be anything on it because, of course, there's no materials on it. So let's go ahead and make a material real quick from this. Create material. There we go. And hold OK. And go ahead and grab this out of here. Oh, you can even see on my other page. Here we go. I'm sorry about that. There. Okay, so what I did, I uh, made a new uh, package, made a sub package with materials, and I imported the speed tree from where I put the put it all in the folder. You know, basically what I did is go to import with objects, grass, grass tutorial, grab, drag, grab, open, and then hit OK to all. And that's what I did. Sorry about that. I forgot I had the uh, other monitor. I use my other monitor a lot, so. Anyway, so let's get down to business. So let's go ahead and make this material here quick. We're going to put the norm up, and we're going to grab the spec map. So we're going to come, probably run into a couple problems. You probably already know about the problems that happens here. Like, you have to make an ad for the alpha mass, just like with the other speed tree tutorials. You have to do the same exact stuff. So let's go ahead. I'm going to show you here what happens here. You know. So we're going to have to make a vector color vector color I'm not sure if it's in here where are you at? vector no vector value vector no the vector color why is it not showing up? that is strange hold on let me see my other one quick <laughs> open up this gosh darn thing here quick it's a vertex color herb. That's my bad. I was looking up the wrong one. Vertex color. There we go. That's what we want. And that the reason being you do this is because how speed tree reads how to keep the uh, opacity working with the leaves. Because if you don't do that, you're going to see all these white planes behind all this leaves, and it's going to look like shit. So then we're going to have to add, do an add math add. We're going to add the alpha to this 
and add the white vertex color to this and apply it to the opacity mask. And what to do is, and under your materials, if you can't get there, you just select it and you go to, no, I don't want that one, I want masked. And make sure it's two sided because if you do it because it's on a plane, you have to make sure it's two sided or else you won't be able to see both ends of it and it'll look like crap too. So let's go ahead and begin. We're going to check mark this, save it up, exit out of this. And then now, since we got that working, we go ahead to do select this and put under the frond material and the leaf card. And then there you go, you got yourself some grass in your editor. Now let's go ahead and take a look at a few more things here quick. So exit out of that. Let's go ahead and grab, drag, and drop it. And of course, right away you'll notice two things. If I get over here, number one, it's really freaking small. But you always adjust the size of it, and you can just hit space a couple times, bring it up the size to wherever you want, tall or small, whatever you want to do. And also another thing you're going to notice is that the colors are really weird. And that's because of the lighting. So what you're going to have to do is you have to build light strangely enough what you have to do is build light mass so you don't have this problem with the leaves I'll show you here in just a minute here so let's go ahead actually let's go ahead and make a few more of these quick so I kind of see what I mean by how the duplications and adding more more grass kind of makes it look a little better Kind of rotate a little bit, just kind of give it a variety so it's not all like, oh, it's duplicated in the same direction, you know. Kind of stuff. Now, as you can see here, it's underneath the ground because of the way we exported it. To make sure we had it sync correctly. And as you can see here, it's bunched up nicely. Make sure you adjust it because sometimes when you duplicate over, it goes up a little too high sometimes too. So, let's go ahead. There's a nice good little bush here. Mm, very nice, very nice, very nice. Alright, so let's duplicate one last time, maybe a few more times, I don't know. I just want to spam this because it's cool. So anyways, so we make, always make sure you build paths. And then I'll show you here in game, it's still the same problem. You'll see here like the lighting, like some grass strings are lighter, and especially when you turn you can see that. That's a lighting problem. So we need to do, even if you build just original lights, but the reason being, I use production light, even if you use preview, use light mass, it'll work just fine, but I'm going to use medium. Use light mask, hit OK. And once you do that, the swarm agent's going to go up and you have to build the lighting for you. And it'll fix this problem. And I'll show you here real quick. Um, the swarm agent pop up. It's got a thing because you got a little more stuff. Using light mask is not the best way to do things, but I use it for the sake of, um, you know, for this tutorial to understand that, hey, you need to have lights built to make the uh, grass not have that color problem. That's one thing I hate about light mass, it takes forever, but it's definitely worth it in the long run. Let's see. So, as you can see now, it fixed the problem. It looks totally better, but the specs just a little bit too shiny. There's always a way to fix that. You just kind of add like a more of a zero agent on your uh, spec, but that's not really important right now. I just want to show you guys how that you can totally make grass in the UK, how it's done. And of course, let's take a look here. See, so it's kind of swaying a little bit, a little bit too large, but that's okay. So, for example, if you want to adjust the wind, for example, you double click it, you know, go wind strength. Oops, that's the wrong one. I don't want that one. I want the one we just made. So I'm going to go double click here. You go to wind strength and make it up, I don't know, maybe two. Uh, let's try four. Yeah, there we go. Exit out, save out. Always save your packages because there's so many times I forgot to save my package and you lost all your crappy import that you've adjusted. And there we go. That looks a little better. You know, it's a little tall right now, but you know, if you want to make tall grass levels, I mean, what can you do? This is one best way to do it. All right, so I really hope this tutorial really helped you guys. Subscribe, and I'll be making more here very soon. Plan on making uh, more programming tutorials on weapons and how to import animations and how to adjust them with programming. So I'll see you soon.